How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here. Today's going to be Q&A number 73, where I'm going to answer you guys' questions, comments, and replies. And yeah, I went ahead and answered a bunch of old ones, and I uh, got quite a bit to get through <laughs> uh, with this new one. So I'm going to see if I can get through it all. If not, I'll save some of them for next week. Okay. Alright, so let's start with the replies here. Alright, let's get some water. If I sound a bit like maybe as if I'm stuffed up or something, uh, it's been very windy and there's a high pollen alert, so the wind's blowing all that around. Yeah, so just trying to trying to be cautious. Okay, uh, first one is regarding Soul Eater manga volumes one through six. This is in response to Miss Crow's comment. Nice haul, as per usual. Shockwave, Asha. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Miss Crow? Hope you're doing good. And then a Fahar. Uh, asked, um, oh, they asked uh, what the poster was uh, behind me right here. It is from an OVA series called Devil Hunter Yoko. So I went ahead and replied, and then they replied back with, okay, and yeah, that's where that's from. And as far as I know, that does not have, I'm looking at it right now, <laughs> uh, it doesn't have a re release. Um, that is another one of those that is long out of print. And I have the two separate. Uh, box sets. It did get uh, re-released in like a thin pack set a while after, uh, quite a long time ago. Uh, but yeah. Okay, next one is regarding Monster, complete manga series. This is in response to Neil's comment. Where did you buy these from? I'm having the hardest time finding volume 2 at the moment. Laugh out loud. And then a SSPLIS spliff. Uh, replied with uh, at second Sathigella. Oh, I'm guessing that's someone else. Uh, if you still don't have it, try Barnes and Noble. Yeah, definitely try that. Because I think a bunch of them have gotten back in stock, but yeah, some are still kind of out. Definitely shop around for it. Yeah, Monster, well worth it. Still need an anime anime uh, release or re release in general. Yeah, because I don't think all of it got. Uh, like DVD or not even a Blu-ray at all. I think uh, some of it was on DVD out here in the States. Uh, not sure, maybe in Japan it had a complete series release, but yeah. Uh, next one is regarding Boruto Volume 9 Blu-ray. This is in response to X Strifer's comment. Another Blu-ray set full of filler. <laughs> There's an icon with like a laughing face. And then a Z Al Z Al Akari. This is actually not filler. It's adapted from the Konoha Shinden novel, which is 100% canon. Really? Because there are a bunch of novels and stuff, too. I've seen uh, some of them on Right Stuff. Yeah, and then uh, you know, other bookstores. Oh, that's true. Okay. Awesome. All right. Next one is regarding Naruto Volume 5 Blu-ray. This is in response to Furry Sparks' comment. Wasn't a big fan of this cover art for such an emotional and impactful arc in the series. This is for the uh, Sasuke Retrieval arc. Uh, feels a little silly, in my opinion. Great unboxing, though. And then uh, Hello Digital World replied with, Viz covers always sucks. <laughs> yeah, they're... the decision on some of the, uh, or pretty much all the covers is kind of weird. It's mostly just Team 7. There's not a very much variety. Hopefully that will change with Shippuden because there's a lot more, uh, even more newer characters. But also you have other ones, like everybody's grown up. So maybe they'll fix it with that one. But yeah, with Naruto Part 1, yeah, it's kind of kind of weird just using the same team over and over again. Uh, next one is regarding Siren, complete manga series. This is by, uh, oh, this is in response to Gabriel's comment. Can't find Volume 10 anywhere. Oh, there's a crying avatar face uh a crying email and then a tech or touch i think tech same man volume 8 10 and couple of initial volumes are pretty hard to find hope they print more and uh yeah i hope so um yeah if you can find those for a good deal newer use pick them up siren is well worth it i think it's very underrated really really good series i would love it forget or excuse me, I would love it to love for it <laughs> to get a uh, either OVA or anime series, but it's, it's been out for years now. 
like, uh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, Old Parts Hunter. Same thing. Yeah. Uh, next on to Guardian Naruto, Volume 5. Blu-ray is in response to Brandon's comment. Is Naruto, a, is Naruto in Blu-ray 16x9, or is it still, like, 4x3? Like, DVD menu or Blu-ray Naruto, can you do... Oh, I guess can you do menu review. And then, Hello Digital World, reply with uh, 4x3. Yeah. There's a whole thing with that. Whether it is 4x3 or... Because it says presented in its original uh, ratio, but in 60 by 9 but it has the black bar. So maybe it's artificially put in there? Yeah, not quite sure. Uh, next one is regarding Monster, complete manga series. This is by... Uh, oh, this is a response to Baby Yoda's comment. Two four, or Baby Yoda 247's comment. Is knowing about the true self of Johan Lieber going to ruin my experience when watching or reading it? Planning on getting the manga, but I think I low-key got spoiled. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, kind of sad face. So I replied, and then they replied back, uh, is it a spoiler? Is that the only thing about Johan? Is that, oh, okay, so I'm not going to say this, uh, but it has to do with, uh, you know, his character, exactly what he is in the show, or no, uh, in the series and show, uh, manga, uh, yeah, it, what I replied with is, with Monster, I would definitely say it's more preferable that you don't know anything about the characters, just go in and read it, because the way it plays out is really cool, and the stuff you find out, especially the background, you know, backstory and stuff, it is really deep. Monster is very, very good. Naoki Urasawa, the way he did that, incredible. Very, very good. So, yeah, I just don't want to say it. Uh, I'll reply I'll reply to your comment. <laughs> I'll just reply back. Okay. Uh, next one's regarding Q&A uh, number 70. I'm back. This is in response to Brandon's comment. You listen to any music. I replied, and they said, uh, I like rock music. Yeah, I pretty much like all kinds. It kind of depends on what kind of, you know, mood I'm in. I'll listen to a bunch of different stuff. Yeah. Uh, next one is regarding Pokemon Anime Movie Collection. This is by uh, Brandon. Uh, another uh, reply. Uh, they ask, you have Pokemon, The Power of Us. It is on Blu-ray and DVD. It's a movie. And I replied yes, and they replied back. Can you do a Blu-ray menu? Yeah, I thought about doing the Pokemon ones. Uh, I think this week I'm going to do Robotics Notes. Maybe Fist of the North Star. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, got a couple of really big uh, videos where I show a lot at once. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do this week. Yeah, I only did two uh, for this week. Uh, just things are getting real, real busy. Crazy, yeah. Especially with work, yeah, it's wearing me wearing me down. <laughs> uh, okay, but stay tuned for more. <laughs> All right, so now on to the regular comments. Uh, these three uh, have to have to do with uh, Spider Man No Way Home movie collection. First two are by a MCO legend. Oh no, MCO C legends. You are very nice. Oh, thank you. I also want. But it is impossible. Uh, oh, if you're talking about the steel book, probably yeah. Or uh, if if the regular Blu-rays, uh, you know, depending on where you're at, I would think it'd still be available. Hopefully, you can still get it. But yeah, the steel book. There's been a whole thing about that. I don't even think it hit shelves. Uh, I know people have uploaded videos about it. Its availability. Uh, it might have been just online only. Because uh, I remember when I went to go try and get um, Far From Home, I didn't pre-order that one. And eventually it, it did get re-released, but we're talking like, you know, years later. Or like a year or two later. Uh, I don't even think that hit shells either. There was a movie, uh, what is it, uh, Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds? I think that was online only. That wasn't in store either. It's very odd, yeah. Um, maybe it'll get a rerun, but I... Doubt of a plus, there's a whole thing with the special features. You're missing the deleted scenes. Still waiting to hear more about that, if that'll get, you know, fixed. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, if it's a steel book, I get it. Yeah, it's pretty much all gone. Oh, then the next one regarding No Way Home is uh, by Common Rider 64 
nice unboxing video, bro. I'm definitely going to get this movie. I didn't know it already came out. Yeah, uh, almost kind of snuck up on me a little bit because <laughs> I forgot. Because uh, I pre-ordered a Steelbook, you know, back in, what, January? I think it was? Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it got here pretty quick, the release date. Okay, next one's regarding, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, Q&A number 72 is by Brandon. Happy Easter. Oh, thank you. Yeah, Easter was you know, a while ago. Hope everybody had a good Easter. Uh, next one is regarding My Hero Academia Anime Collection is by Brandon. I think these next few are... Okay. Uh, you have My Hero Academia Season 4 Part 1 and 2 Combo Pack with DVD and Brew... Or, excuse me, with DVD and Blu-ray at Season 5 Part 1. Came out a month ago. Or weeks you have that. Or not yet. There is a My Hero Academia with a complete Blu-ray set for Seasons 2, 3, and 4. With My Hero Academia in a Blu-ray set. Yeah, they're doing the whole season sets. Uh, I do have Part 1 of the latest one. So uh, just waiting for uh, Part 2 to come out. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm just going to get them all in parts because I really like the covers. Yeah, plus you get a, some really nice artwork. Next one's regarding Dragon Ball Blu-ray and DVD collection as of August 20. It's also by Brandon. There is a Dragon Ball Z Steelbooks out there, but there is no slick covers, and it is 4x3 four by four, four screen. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of people said in Dragon Ball Z Steelbook. Um, Best Buy reviews is the best way to watch Dragon Ball Z in Steelbook 4. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought about those. That might be how I get the series on um, Blu-ray. Yeah, uh, just trying to catch them on sale because they're expensive. It's the only thing. They're really, really high. Depending on where you look, yeah. Next one's regarding Nickelodeon Cartoon Collection as of May 20. Uh, also by Brandon. You know Courage the Cowley Dog? It's like... Scooby-Doo, but with a pink dog <laughs> that's scared of monsters and says, ah, something like that I haven't watched in a while. Uh, Boomerang on TV used to play it there. Is Boomerang still around? Oh, it's been so long. Uh, I wonder if Boomerang's streaming. And I think about it, yeah, I wonder what happened to that. It was like a whole channel, a whole network. Uh, there is a complete series of Curse of Cowley Dog DVD. Yes, I do have it. The only thing is, it does not have, uh, the evasion of uh, what the the chicken, the chicken from outer space. It doesn't have that pilot, that that short. It doesn't have it. You have to get that on. Um, I think like an old VHS or something like that. Yeah. Hopefully that'll get re-released. Uh, possibly on Blu-ray. That would be cool. Uh, next one's regarding Cartoon Network collection as of May 20. Also by Brandon, you have Scooby-Doo DVD or movies. There is a new release for Scooby-Doo. Where are you on Blu-ray? Yeah, I did see that. Or let's see that. I did see that. I uh, don't have any Scooby-Doo right now. I don't think. Uh, we might have recorded episodes. <laughs> like our old VHS tapes. But as far as like owning new films or the series. There's a lot to Scooby-Doo. Uh, I lost count. <laughs> uh, we don't have anything like that as of right now. Yeah, But it is on my list. I do have it there. Okay. Next one is regarding Naruto Volume 5 Blu-ray. It is by Phoenix Storm. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're also in Barnes and Noble. Excuse me. But for sixty dollars, sometimes dang, I just go on Amazon. Sometimes get them for free shipping. I make sure the sellers are Amazon, and the shipper says Amazon. Yeah, always try to make sure that if you have to go through a seller, definitely check reviews and stuff to be sure. Uh, because if the seller does not say Amazon, it is third party. They normally sell fake Blu-rays. I cannot wait. To get these sets on Blu-ray and Bleach, I've been finding these on uh, Best Buy or Walmart. I don't care if they're old sets because they're going up in Amazon sometimes. I seen all these shows on Adult Swim when I was a kid with old school Tom and his uh, AI girl, <laughs> Inuyasha. I'm glad is on Blu-ray because their cheaper DVDs are getting uh, oh getting more. More and more fakes are coming out. Oh, okay. Yeah. When I go uh, to like second half places, 
I do see a lot of bootlegs. Quite a bit. So if you do, any anytime you're looking for old stuff, online might be a bit harder to tell sometimes, depending. Uh, but if you go to like say like a half price books, recipe music, you'll you'll notice the fake ones. Pretty much, yeah. A lot of these animes are a lot of these animes of fakes are coming out the longer you wait, so now is the perfect time to collect them. I wish they redo Full Metal Alchemist. I do not spend 100 or 200 for those old sets on Blu-ray or 200 for DVDs. Nope. Yeah, the Full Metal Alchemist is a big one. Yeah, um, that's the rights. Like, uh, what was it? Uh, Black Butler. The rights reverted back to Aniplex from uh, Funimation. So that's why they're, those newer sets are way expensive and the old ones are out of print. So... Yeah, they, fortunately they, they no longer have the rights. But if you find them for a good deal, pick them up. Okay. Next one's regarding Downton Abbey 4K Steelbook. is by Robotic Arm. I have the first two seasons on Blu-ray and the third season and movie on DVD. I've been, wa I've been watching this with my mother along with Emma, A Victorian Romance. I've seen Emma. That's a really good one, too. Uh... Yeah, Downton Abbey, really, really good. Great show. Check it out. Uh, next on's regarding Lion King Movie Collection. is by Elsa and Pixar Fanboy 2002. Uh, don't you mean Rafiki holding up Simba? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rafiki holding up Simba. I think I said that wrong <laughs> in that video. Yeah, I think I said like the wrong name. Or I think I might have forgot. Yeah, Rafiki's cool. Okay, so these next four are regarding Kingsman movie collection. First one is by Robotic Arm. Samuel L. Jackson was awesome in the first film. Did you know that he voiced Afro Samurai? Yes, I did. Love Afro Samurai. Uh, the only thing we don't have the video game. I thought we did. Uh, video game is fine. You know, kind of hack a slash. You know, kind of go around doing stuff. Uh, but yeah, uh, check out Afro Samurai. Really good. The next one is by A. Ulysses. I enjoy the first movie and the second movie, and I haven't seen the third one, third movie yet. Oh, okay. First one still holds up. Really, really good. Uh, next one is by YB. Hi, I have some Naruto DVD original set never opened before. I wonder does does you interest it, or do you have interest in it? Oh, uh, no thanks. <laughs> I already have you know uh, all of Naruto. A couple of times over. <laughs> yeah. And then the next one is by Raphael. Where do you buy all the DVDs? So, when it comes to new stuff, uh, mostly Best Buy, uh, Amazon, some stuff from Target. It depends on where I can find it for probably the best deal. Uh, when it comes to like things like Arrow releases, Shout Factory, Screen Factory, uh, Criterion, I tend to go to Barnes & Noble because they have really good deals. Like, they'll have half off, 20 30% off. And they have a lot of hard-to-find stuff. Yeah, like a lot of older films, older horror films I try and get. Uh, they do have some anime stuff. That's where I've been getting One Piece of Collection sets in-store. Also, uh, Ghibli Steelbooks, they have those. So does Best Buy stuff also. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Oh, right stuff anime. Uh, for anime stuff, but, yeah. Okay, next one is regarding Naruto Volume 6 Blu-ray. is by... Oh, it's in a different language. Is that Japanese? I can't quite read it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sup, man? Where did you... Where did you buy this box? I mean, which site you found this? Uh, so that one, Naruto Volume 6, I got at Barnes & Noble. But you can get it on Amazon, Right Stuff, Best Buy, all, that, all those places. Yeah. And you can get them for much cheaper because uh, Barnes & Noble tends to be higher. So they might have it uh, to where it says like 20-30% off, but depending on where you are, tax, all that, yeah. Next on is regarding Cartoon Menu Review number uh, 2, Ben 10. Oh, that's the first one. Yeah, original series. It's by Brandon. Is Ben 10 good on DVD? Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah, it looks fine. You know, sounds good. I like the sets. Pretty nice and simple. The only thing is, you gotta get a bunch of them. Yeah, you have to get a, you have to get quite a few. Yeah, for the first season, you have to get a, uh, oh, what is it? 
Four? I think it's four. Yeah. Two to remember offhand. Next one's regarding Naruto Part 1, complete anime series. And we're already at two minutes. Okay. It's by Brandon. The Naruto 3 disc Digipack DVD look cool. I still don't know what Digipack means on YouTube. I hear people calling the 3 disc DVD of Naruto the pretty shiny uncut box set. A Digipack with three DVDs. Yeah, so it's a booklet, or maybe not a booklet, but it's just a it's a it's a pack that opens up. And it just like has a spindle that's like glued to like cardboard or something. Yeah, that's a digi pack. It's not like a regular uh, case, whereas you have it in like plastic. Open the case up and like that. Yeah. And sometimes you'll have like a booklet in there that's that's part of it, and then you can look through it. Then you get to the disc. Yeah. Next on is regarding Heroes Complete Series. Is by Charles. Heroes used to be my favorite show on TV. Yeah, I watched the heck out of Heroes. Um. I actually lost track of it a few times. So I want to say that the the, um, the, uh, the slot changed, the time slot when it played, changed a few times. But yeah, eventually caught up and finished it. Really good. Even saw the new one, uh, what is it, Reborn? Yeah. Next on is regarding House MD. A complete series is by John. Do it come, or do it came with Spanish, or did it come with Spanish, Spanish audio? Yes, pretty sure it did, yeah. I'll go back and look at it, because uh, I just looked at it the other day, yeah. There's a lot of uh, subtitle options. I want to say Spanish was one of them, yeah. I I recall it being on all the sets, but I'll have to go back and relook. I'll answer it uh, when I reply and uh, you know, type it out. Pretty sure it did for most of it. Uh, next one is regarding Batman Nolan Trilogy Collection. is by A. Ulysses. My favorite Batman character is the Joker. Good choice. And actually, who is your favorite Joker? Do you like the animated one? Which animated version? Uh, which comic version? <clears throat> and it's for everybody out there. Uh, also, uh, live action. Who is your favorite live action Joker? Yeah, feel free to let me know. Next one is regarding Q&A number 72. It's by Brandon. I think DVD is good as a Blu-ray. Some of them are. Uh, sometimes you might encounter a DVD that looks incredible, looks pristine, very well done, and then the Blu-ray comes out, and it's not even close. <laughs> it's really, really odd. It really depends on the source, how good it is, uh, was it really taken care of, also who's working on it. There's a lot of factors. Okay, next one is regarding One Piece uh, Collection Set 29. This is by Osmosis. Or Asmosis. Okay, a big a big issue I have with One Piece is how Oda hasn't really put effort into Nami, uh, Zoro, and Luffy real parents much or their Okay. Or their desires, I guess. Uh, it's uh, there's another word. <laughs> their desires. Uh, it's off-putting how these three act at ages 19 and 20. Like, come on, even Goku was married by this point. Oh, by that point. Oh, okay. Same for probably Ichigo and Yusuke was going to marry Keiko before they turned 20. For sure, by age 19, Naruto was married, so was Sasuke kind of? Luffy needs to hurry up. <laughs> oh, so I guess... Uh, you know, them getting with people, and then, uh, I guess they're made a backstory of, you know, parents and stuff. Yeah, that's kind of just the writing. I don't know. Yeah, it's... Uh, but now, the thing is, do they need to be with somebody? That's a question, too. Yeah. Okay, next one is regarding, uh, Soul Taker and Gatekeepers Animate is by Video Game Worm. Gatekeepers really need a Blu-ray re-release. Yeah. I love that show. I watched the heck out of that when it aired. Um, hopefully it does. Yeah, that's one of many shows that... Uh, luckily, I was able to find all the volumes, but uh, one complete set with Gatekeepers and Gatekeepers 21, that would be really cool. Especially on Blu-ray. Uh, next one is the Guardian Bleach, complete anime series uh, Blu-rays. It's by Commander Futures. Commander Futches 117, 117. 
So I agree that the first box sets are better, but the reason is because the original six sets weren't produced in widescreen, but were upscaled on the Blu-ray sets, which looked very nice. But when the series went widescreen, it still wasn't produced in HD until episode 229. So on those Blu-rays, they still just use the upscaler on the widescreen sets, which you can tell more because it's widescreen, but it's the same quality of effort. That saying, uh, Viz didn't put much effort into it until you get to the actual episodes produced in HD when they aired. Regardless, it, it does look ever so slightly than the quality of the episodes on streaming services like Hulu. Yeah, like, let me know how is Bleach on uh, streaming. Some of it looks okay, and others look may not so good. Yeah. So the first original six sets look look best because it's standard def upscaled HD. Then when it went widescreen, it's a little noticeable, noticeably fuzzy because it's widescreen SD upscaled HD. It's until it's actually HD produced episodes that are actually HD. In all honesty, Eric C. Ah, we're from there. <clears throat> In all honesty, I've seen much worse Blu-rays out there, and as time goes on, the price will drop, or maybe they'll release another newer super upscaled sets that will be superior. Regardless, I'm satisfied to own them on Blu-ray. No, that's cool. And thank you for the info. Yeah, a lot of good stuff. Um, yeah, if you got it on Blu-ray, I say it's still, you know, worth it, but it really kind of depends. You know, it, you know, do you prefer that? Do you prefer them to re-release in, like, a better version? Um, you know, because some of it, yeah, that fuzziness is pretty, pretty big, yeah. Okay, next one is regarding Justice League Complete Series Collection is by Lucas. That's a very amazing collection. Oh, thank you. That's the older Blu-ray, so hopefully uh, Justice League, the original shows, will get a re-release. Uh, I think it'd be really cool. Next one is regarding One Piece Collection Set 29. Uh, Blu-ray, check the time. Okay. It's by John. I'm at the Whole Cake Island Arc dub on One Piece. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, really cool. Yeah, what do you guys think of the Cake Island uh, arc? Yeah. Uh, next on regarding One Piece Collection Set 29. Blu-ray is by Brandon. What is the name of the ca of that character on One Piece Collection 29? I still have One Piece Collection 15 and Collection 14. That's all I have for One Piece on DVD. Collection Gecko Moria is funny when he says fishy fishy. <laughs> Gecko Moria. Uh, I'm still, I still don't want to say just in case people are getting to that point. Because I want them to find out. Yeah, it's just so... You know, uh, yeah, because his backstory is key, especially to a certain character. Yeah, so that's why I'm not saying it. <laughs> uh, next on is regarding uh, Naruto Movie Collection, as of February 19th. It's by Brandon. The Naruto Ninja Clash of Land of Snow Deluxe Edition. There is a soundtrack in it. Does it work in a PS4? Just curious about the soundtrack. Will it work in my PS4? But I still had the original release for Naruto Ninja Clash Land of Snow. DVD, the... Cheapest Naruto movie, I think, is, is still... Oh, I think it is still... Excuse me. And does have a cool front cover. Yeah, it does. It should work. Because it uh, PS4 should just be able to play uh, CDs. Should. I uh, think, yeah. Uh, next one is regarding Naruto Triple Feature Steelbook. This is by Brandon. A lot of people in reviews on Amazon want Naruto Shippuden to be on Blu-ray. Same here. I have a feeling that they will. It's just a question as to how many. Yeah. Okay, so I might stop at these next two. Next one's regarding Inuyasha Volume 6 Blu-ray. It's by Brandon. You have Yashihime, Princess, Half Demon, the new Inuyasha series. It's out on Blu-ray and DVD. So I don't have that yet. Uh, I think I'm going to wait till Part 2 comes out. Or try and get it on a sale because it's pretty expensive. Yeah, even just a regular version. There is a limited one. Um, that actually looks pretty nice. You get like a nice, uh, you know, art box and stuff, like hardcover, <laughs> and uh, uh, you get like a really cool illustration card. Yeah, so I think I might get that one. I'm gonna wait till it's on sale. 
All right, so we'll stop at this one. I'll save the rest for next week. Uh, so the last one for Q&A number 73 is regarding Boruto Anime Collection as of August 20. This is by Eric. I wonder why they stopped the number scheme on part 6. I'm wondering that too. Because the numbering was fine. There's a lot of shows, not just anime, uh, cartoons, uh, regular cartoons, live action, a uh, series of movies, all types of media. I think even book series do this too. They'll be numbered, and then they'll have they'll start doing names and titles. It's really odd. I don't quite get it. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about, think about that. Did you guys prefer the numbers or the you know the names that they're using now? And uh, yeah, that is it for Q and A number seventy three. Feel free to leave some more comments, questions, and replies for me to answer on the next one. And I'll save the rest for next week. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.